This woman is beautiful. Let me see. Let me see. I'll show you my Nimekalia talanta mnipatie kazi. Where can I get this job? Hey hey hey. Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm back. My name is Immaculate Nelly and today I'm going to tell a story about my college department. What? my deferment experience and then coming back to college after one year to resume my studies yeah so this has actually been one of the greatest reasons why i took a break from creating and posting my videos because i just felt like the way was too much for me This is just part one of the story, so do subscribe to my channel so that you get notified anytime I post the remaining parts of this video, including other videos that you may be interested in. Yeah, so I feel pretty great about coming back. It's a little bit much, you know, being a student, trying to open your grades and all that stuff, but I'm glad to be back. I try to figure this out, how it's gonna work, and find my group. Yeah, so... I'm gonna start by giving you a little context, which was in 2021, I set out a profusion of basic things I needed for my schooling, and I couldn't continue anymore, so I deferred. After my deferment, I went back home, yeah, home sweet home. At home, I was glad to meet my siblings, my parents, and just everyone after that long period of time. Yeah, a lot of things happened while at home, big good and bad, until it was now time for me to get back to my studies. Yeah, so that, is, that was on. That was 2022, I think by September, when my mom worked really hard and got me school fees. So before I packed my things and left the village for school, I interacted with some of my friends who were at school just to allow them that I'm coming back to the system and all those sorts of gorgeous friends we talk about. Yeah, so I also had to ask about the registration process for someone who deferred and wants to come back to the system, but they never had a clue about that. So they directed me to some of the student leaders who directed me really well on all the processes I needed to do. And they were indeed really simple. Uh, I think by 12 September on Monday, I packed my things and left for school. Yeah, it was actually a long journey. It took me like 12 hours and the next day at around 5.30 a.m. in the morning, I was already in Nairobi. Yeah, so I was formally received by the family I was to stay with while schooling. Yeah, and so that day I never went to school with all that tiredness that came from that long journey I had to rest until the next day on Wednesday when I went to school, did the registration process and after fill this form, fill that form, put your mask on, paid school fee together with the registration fee which is a thousand, I went back home. After two days, that was on Friday, I received a call from admissions office asking me to begin my classes immediately. My request to get back to my studies was approved. You could imagine how happy I was. So the next day, being a student, I only did preparation, went to the bookshop, bought some stationaries, had to pick my clothes that I'd wear from Monday to Friday. Then I opened my student email account to download the timetable for that semester so that I know the unit I'm having by tomorrow. For the first time, I roughly went through the timetable and I couldn't find the course I'm supposed to do. Maybe I sized a little bit quick. Let me go through it bit by bit. And for the second time, I employed all my time, my patience and keenness went through the timetable and still I couldn't find the course 
I was doing. Maybe the timetable I forgot to include the course. So there is this one student I happened to meet at school when I was doing my re-registration process. We exchanged contacts and from that day we became friends, though she was doing a different course from mine. That Sunday night, I consulted her if she knew any student doing accounting and finance, and by good luck, she knew the class rep of accounting and finance, and so she gave me his number. The class rep was really nice. We talked and talked, and finally, he included me in the WhatsApp group, since I was one of the students doing, doing the same course. I thought I found my cohort and that I was in the right class. In the group, I managed to ask about the notes, the cards, and the assignments, and when I got the notes, they were totally different from the units I was supposed to do in that semester. Like, what's really happening? That's when I also realized that the group caption was totally different from whatever I expected it to be. It was accountancy. As for me, I needed to be in accounting and finance group since that's the course I'm supposed to undertake, not accountancy. So I asked if they knew or they could refer me to someone who is doing accounting and finance. To my surprise, they never heard about accounting and finance as a course being offered in that institution. What? But this was the most known course when I left. <sighs> Maybe they ain't serious. At least there was one student who knew what was going on. She inboxed me and told me that there was a change of curriculum and courses in order to realign the education sector with the Kenyan Vision 2030 and that the order came from the Ministry of Education, making all universities to put that into consideration. What? Yes, I heard about the change of the curriculum, but I never thought it would affect me to this extent. Like, why would they change the education system and not consider us with the student who deferred? Why did they even allow me to register and they knew what was going on. So the next day, I just had to go to school to get a clear information about what was going on because, you know, I spent a lot of school fees, a lot of finance and time included. And there's no way, you know. <laughs> Bye guys, see you in part two of this video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that we get connected. Bye. So, so, so.